In this video, we're going to cover the middle of the funnel, which is evaluation. We're going to talk about how you can use middle of funnel content to drive more email registrations, more leads, more likes, more engagement with your brand so that you can then create more offers and send more offers to these people to sell more and close more clients and, and just increase your business's revenue. So this is going to be a great video. Be sure to watch all the way through. And if you enjoy it, hit that like button. What's up everybody? My name is Brandon Brashears and this is the Digital Marketing Madman channel. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to increase your business with digital marketing, then this is the perfect channel for you. I create daily marketing tutorials and I also vlog about creating my agency and running my business. All right, so if you have ever uh, created content or posts online and it hasn't turned into more newsletter signups or more emails or more likes and engagement in your brand, then typically what you're lacking is middle of funnel content. Now, middle of funnel content here, we talked about in the previous video, and if you click on the card up here in the corner, it talks about top of funnel awareness, which is the, the first stage. Again, we have three stages of the funnel. We have awareness, then we have evaluation, and then we have conversion. And here we're talking about evaluation. So we're trying to get people to take the next step, right? We've said, hey, here's who we are. Would you like to follow us? Would you like to, to get more information? What's the next step that we can do to increase the relationship between the client and your business. So here we're trying to really um, build out things that will trade email addresses for a piece of information or piece of value. We're trying to give them an entry level barrier, the barrier free kind of entry into our business so that they can try products out, they can get more information and really start to develop a relationship with your brand. So types of content that work really well here are gated pieces of content, meaning that they have to opt in to get access to content, things like webinars, things like guides, cheat sheets, um, infographics, case studies, white papers, all of these types of things that are gonna offer some kind of very specific value for their contact information. Another thing too is that when people are following your brand and you're putting out content, asking them to like and follow and subscribe, that's really the middle of the stage, middle of funnel content too, where they're developing a relationship with your brand and they're hopefully seeing consistent output of content and beginning to really know who you are and what you're about. I again want to mention how important it is that you are starting with the end in mind. So what is the ultimate offer that you're going to be hopefully getting these new clients or new customers to take? A lot of times they can, if you create content that's not related to the offer, it's not going to help you and it's not going to help you grow your business. So sometimes I see people that want to go viral, for example, they want to create content that goes viral. They want to create videos that go viral. Typically people who use this kind of language, um, unless you're the Harmon brothers, which are the people that created the squatty potty videos and other viral marketing that's actually selling things. Unless you're an expert in that, like the Harmon brothers or somebody else, going viral is not something that's going to help you. We're trying to be really targeted, very intentional about who we're attracting, what kind of offers we're going to be presenting, and how can we really help our clients and customers solve the biggest problems and pain points that they're facing in their, in their daily lives or in their business. So typically here at this stage of the funnel, we're trying to get them to basically start to get to know us better, start to take some kind of action. Now I like to train the clients and customers to take action based on the ultimate end goal of how I want them to take action in the future. So I'm trying to train people to take a specific action. So if you're going to rely a lot heavily on email marketing, or if you're going to drive people to a social channel, if you want them to engage in some way, I like to really start that process in this evaluation phase. So for example, if you're going to be driving and selling a lot on email, you want email to seem like a channel that's very, very productive that they should be following and that they're going to engage with. So if you're delivering, for example, a case study or a lead magnet or a cheat sheet or a resource of some kind, driving to something in email that you're going to provide value in email so that they get used to opening your emails, they get used to engaging with you there, that's definitely a good way to build your evaluation content. So one thing about evaluation content is I like it to be super specific. So it's for a very specific group of people that way your marketing and messaging is very, very much in line with what the offer is going to be at the end. If you're not sure about what to create, think about what is the biggest pain points or problems that your, your clients have and really get clear on what would help them. 
If you can provide a quick win for your clients and customers and prospects, they're going to really trust you a lot more and the sales process at the end of the funnel is going to be a lot easier as a result. So one thing I wanna mention is in my 12 month marketing planner, I have a 16 point checklist for landing pages and you can use that checklist to make sure that you're generating lead magnets and landing pages that are very specific and they provide a very specific benefit to your clients and customers. So once you know the offer that you're going to be creating, creating some kind of a lead magnet around that. I'll give you some examples here really quick. So I do digital marketing for a lot of veterinary practices, right? And one of the services that I offer for veterinary practices is AdWords, right? So generating clients. Now I could go about this offer by saying, hey, would you like help with AdWords? And that's not super compelling, right? So I think about the end in mind first. The thing that the veterinary practices want, they want new clients coming into their practice without having to spend more time on this. It's very complicated to them. They have all these other things to do, right? They're busy, they're understaffed typically, and they're on a budget. So we're trying to address all of those things with AdWords. If the end goal is me managing their AdWords account, then what is a good middle step? So the awareness content that I have is my podcast, my social media posts, my tutorials, and things like that. My middle of funnel content is the lead magnet. I could create a resource of you know, five of the most important AdWords videos that you could watch on how to create and set up your AdWords account, right? So that's super specific and useful. I could talk about three settings that is costing them a tremendous amount of money on AdWords, and I could show them why it's so complicated to try to run AdWords on their own and show them how they're losing money. I could talk about specific reports that they need to open and have running so that they know how their ads are doing. I could talk about how to set up conversion pixels, right? I could create these resources and guides that would be a quick win for them. They could get in and within 10 minutes be able to understand, oh man, I'm wasting money because I have automatic placements turned on and now my AdWords are showing on display ads and search and they're just, there's no rhyme or reason to the AdWords that I have set up, right? That's just one example. What is one thing that you could do that offers immediate value that people would wanna give you their contact info in exchange for that thing. And that's really what we need to be thinking about at the middle of the funnel. So now people understand who you are, they understand what you're about, and they understand how you can help, right? And so we're trying to build credibility, we're trying to be dependable and a great resource for your clients and customers so that once you provide them with an offer, they're gonna say, hey, this is great, I know these guys, they helped me out so much, they're somebody that I can trust and I wanna do business with. So that's really ultimately what we're trying to do here. And that's where we're going to be moving forward towards in conversion here in the next video. So if you're interested in learning on how to use conversion um, content and what kind of analytics to measure. So as we wrap up here, one thing I will say is that at this middle stage of funnel, the things that we're measuring here are we're re measuring retargeting list growth. We're measuring the number of opt-ins that we get. Sometimes we'll have sales here, the number of registrations for webinars and other things like that as well is very, very important here at this stage of the funnel. So if you have any questions or comments or need help with anything, please comment below. I would love to hear what is your lead magnet? What is your business? Comment below.